Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a panda like these ones. You'll need black and white wool or crochet cotton. I use four ply cotton. You'll need fine white cotton for the spots for the eyes and feet. I'll be using a hundred crochet cotton or you could use small felt circles. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing needle and scissors. Now I start with the head first and white cotton. I start with a magic loop. And four chain. Into my circle I work one treble Six double crochet, three treble. Six more double crochet. and a treble. Now I'll pull my circle tight and slip stitch into the fourth chain. For row two I start with four chain and I'll work a treble into the same place as my chain. Now I'm going to work two treble into the next stitch. Next I'll be working two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. After that I work two treble into each of the next three treble. Now I'll be working 
two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. And lastly, two treble into the last treble. And I'll join with a slip stitch into the fourth chain. And we've got a small oval. For row 3 I start with 4 chain and I work a treble into the same spot. Now I'm going to work 1 treble into the next stitch two treble into the following stitch and then one treble. Now I'm going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the two following stitches. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. I'm going to do that four times. For the end part I'll be working two treble into the next stitch and then one treble into the following stitch. I'll do that three times. So two treble into the next stitch and one into the following stitch three times.
Now for along the side I'm going to work two double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. I'm going to do that four times. So two double crochet into the next stitch and then one into each of the following stitch stitches four times. Now for our last two stitches we'll work two treble into the first stitch and then one treble into the second stitch. and then we join with a slip stitch. For row 4, our final row of the head, we work 3 chain and we'll work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and then 2 double crochet in the following stitch. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet in the following stitch. Now we'll repeat that all the way round. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what the head looks like. Now at the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and that's our head done. So I'll fasten off. We've just got an oval. Next I'm going to start on the body. I start with a magic loop And work three chain and then 14 double crochet into my circle. Pull my circle tight and 
and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two, I work three chain, a double crochet into the same stitch, and I'm going to work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll do that and I'll join you at the end of the row. At the end of the row I'll join with a slip stitch into the third chain. Now both rows 3 and 4 are worked the same. We start with 3 chain, work a double crochet into the same spot, work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then two double crochet into the following stitch. We'll do that all the way round for both, both rows three and four. So I'll do the following two rows and I'll come back. Now that's rows three and four finished. So I slip stitch into the third chain and that's the body done. I'll fasten that off. I'm going to start on the arms now. The arms will work slightly differently. I'll start on the first arm. I'll begin with 10 chain. Now I'm going to work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Now I'll work two double crochet into each of the next two chain. Now I'm going to work three treble into the next chain. That will give it a little bit of a bend. Now I work two treble into each of the next stitches and to till the last one. Into the last stitch I work three treble And then I work four chain. And I'm going to slip stitch in the same place as I worked the last three treble. Now I'm going to neaten the edges by working 
single crochet around. So I'll do one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch. Next I'm going to work a joined double, a joined single crochet just to give it that bit more of a bend. I'm working my tail in. There's my joined single crochet and now I'm just going to work single crochet all the way round. And then I slip stitch into the first single crochet and fasten that one off. And that's the first arm. That one goes on that side. For the second arm I start with 11 chain. And I'm going to work three treble in the fifth chain from the hook. I'll work two treble in the next chain and then three treble in the following chain. That will give it the little bit of a bend. Work two treble in the following stitch.
and now two double crochet into each stitch until the end. Now I'll just do a chain, one chain, and I'm going to work single crochet around to neaten it. And I'll work one joined single crochet in the bend, just to help it bend in a little bit more. I'm, I'm crocheting in my tail. Just in here, I'll do my joined single crochet. Now I'll just continue around single crocheting into to the end and I'll be back. Now that's the second arm finished. It goes in there. Next I'll do the eyes. For the eyes I start with 8 chain. Now I'm going to work 4 treble in the 5th chain from the hook. Now I'll work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And three half double crochet into the last stitch. Now I'm going to continue along the back side and work into the back of the chain one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. That's behind where we've done the half double crochet on the other side. Now I'm going to join just in the top there in the fourth chain and that's the eye done. Now 
of the nose I start with a magic loop and work one chain. Then I work a single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet. One single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet, a single crochet, and then I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the chain. And that's the nose. Now for the feet we work eight chain Now we work four treble in the fifth chain from the hook. Next we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and three half double crochet into the last stitch. Now I'm going to work one half double crochet into the back of the other two half double crochet, so one in each. Now we join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain just up in there. For row two we work three chain, one double crochet into the same spot. And then we work two double crochet into each stitch. The feet will work the same, so we'll make two, two the same. So I'll continue round the rest of the foot and I'll come back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and that's our foot done. I'll fasten off. Now 
Now I'm going to work the little spots, the eyes, and for the feet. You'll need eight of them. You could always use felt squares. So you start with a magic loop and work one chain and then into the circle you work six single crochet. and then join with a slip stitch. And I leave enough thread to join it on to the, the article. So I've got a tiny little circle now I'll do the bigger circle at the bottom of the foot. So you start with a magic loop and work two chain and into the circle you work ten half double crochet. We still have to do our ears, but I have trouble judging where my ears should go until I finish it. So I'll be putting my ears on last, but if you prefer you could put your ears on earlier. I have had to cut my ears off sometimes because they're on the wrong place. I'm just not a good judge. Now that's our larger circle. Now I'll finish off my endings and make another eye and foot and I'll come back and show you how to put the panda together. Now I'll start by stitching the little circles on to the eye pieces. The circle goes towards the bottom on the wider part in the centre, just in there should do. the foot I normally start on the circle at the top center and then I fit the others around I put that get it as close to the center as I can
next I'll do the big one and I position it the bottom center about there looks okay And then the other two I just position in. Next to the others. So I'll stitch them on and I'll come back and we'll attach the face. Now I'm going to stitch the arms on. They go just up in there and then the head will go over the top. So I'll stitch them on and I'll also so stitch the nose on and do a mouth and I'll come back. Well, there's my arms on and my nose and my mouth. Now I'll position the eyes I'll go in like that. So I'll stitch those on and then we'll come back and attach the head to the body. Now there's the panda head finished. I attach the head to the body just a little way down, probably just about halfway between the two rows. So it will go on there. The feet go on like that. So I'll put them on and I'll come back and have a go at getting my ears on straight. Now my panda's finished except for the ears. I'm going to start the first ear about halfway up the eye. So in there I'll attach my yarn I'll start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same spot Into the next stitch I'm going to work two treble. Now I'm going to work one double treble into each of the next two stitches. And then two treble into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. And then I'm going to work three chain and slip stitch into the same place 
as the double crochet and I'll fasten off. The second ear will be worked the same, so I'll leave, measure up my centre and then leave about the same amount of space. So I'll start it in here. Work three chain. and one double crochet in the same spot. Two treble into the next stitch. And one double treble into each of the next two stitches. Two treble into the following stitch. one double crochet into the next stitch and then three chain and slip stitch. I'll just finish off my endings and show you the finished panda. Now there's the panda finished. You could put any kind of expression on your panda's face if you like and you could also dress it up a bit with a flower or a bow or even a bow tie. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.